well, came across this article that really, again, does not shock me one bit, considering all the lunacy going on in today's modern world, you know, which, of course, Satan is the god of the world, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. But I came across this article uh, on Vice News. So it turns out there is a Islamic satanic uh, alliance being proposed. It's saying here in this article, Muslims should, basically should support Satanists, is what this article is saying. And it was written by someone named Michael Muhammad. Harvard should learn that religious freedom is not just for the center, but also for the margins. But also, I need to point something out as well. This article lists Roman Catholics as Christians, which, you know, Roman Catholicism, Islam, and Satanism all go in the same group together. They're all of that same spirit of Antichrist. And also, I'd add Judaism to the mix as well. But it says here in the article, Following Catholic uproar, a proposed satanic mass at Harvard has been cancelled. The mass was going to be put on by the satanic temple. The group also who, ha who also has plans to plant a Baphomet figure on the front lawn of the Oklahoma State House. Despite the fact that the Harvard Extension School Cultural Studies Club dropped its sponsorship, the group still managed to have an unsanctioned, quote, black mass, unquote, at Harvard Square's Hong Kong restaurant and lounge. What bothers me the most is the official quashing of the Satanic Temple's mass by Harvard is that it's being hailed by as a victory for religious tolerance. It's not. Instead, a case of small a case of a small group getting bullied into submission because it offended a big religion. Now again I need to point out Roman Catholics are not Christians. Okay, Roman Catholics are every bit as Baal worshippers as the Muslims and the Satanists. So it's a bit of a false uh, comparison because biblical Christians obviously would would obviously not approve of this, but biblical Christians are not Roman Catholics. Roman Catholics are just Greco Roman. All that Roman Catholicism is is the old heathen Gre Greco Roman pagan religion mixed in with a bit of truth from, from Christianity. That's all that it is. But it says here, continuing on, in an editorial for the Har Harvard Crimson, Francis X. Clooney. Harvard professor and director for at Center for the Study of World Religions, expresses concern for what he calls this proposed, quote, dis, uh, disconcerting incident, unquote. He presents the elements in satanic ritual that invert and, quote, blaspheme, unquote, Catholic sacraments as a potential slippery slope, asking what's next? The endeavor to learn and experience the history of different culture practices might uh, in another year lead to historical uh, reenactments of anti-Semitic or racist ceremonies or parodies that tribalize Native American heritage or other uh, revi rivals, sorry, rivals of cultural and religious insult. Again, not good at reading things on a computer, but the bottom line is, and also funny, anti-Semitic and racist. So first of all, I need to point out the Catholics have always persecuted the Jews, but second of all, anti-Semitic. Well, the problem is, is that crit criticizing Judaism is often cal is called anti-Semitism because, you know, you can't say anything about Jews without attacking the race, apparently. Because I, I've actually had videos where I'd clarify. I would say, look, I'm not attacking racial Jews. I'm attacking the religion of Judaism. I still get called anti-Semitic because, you know, there are people who just can't stand and have, you know, can't stand that truth, basically. But, you know, anti-Semitic, yeah, coming from the Catholics who were in league with the Nazis who were actual anti-Semites. Not just legit critics of the false religion of Judaism. But continuing on, Clooney's nightmare uh, scenario goes, ignores one important question that of institutional privilege. While racism of an oppressor's power play and always moves from the top down, Satanism, Satanism critiques the target immeasurably, immeasurably more powerful than itself. For, uh, for Catholics at Harvard to complain about Satanists offending them is like white people complaining about Louis Farrakhan's quote unquote reverse racism, unquote. Um, have you seen the kind of stuff Louis Farrakhan says? Louis Farrakhan is a quote-unquote reverse racist. I mean, like he talks about how white people deserve to die and all this other stuff. You know, I mean, if you don't think he's a racist, you know, I mean, I, I just love this this liberal pandering. Oh, oh, we can't criticize Louis Farrakhan's reverse racism. So saying that we can't criticize him for saying that white people deserve to die. You know, we can't as a as a white person. And by the way, too, I'm Slavic, and Slavs didn't even, did not even participate in slavery. We're not going to get too much into that, but uh, but second of all. Uh, it's somehow wrong for us to criticize Farrakhan for saying we deserve to die for a white person. Weird. But this is the kind of liberal mentality that Satanism produces. Uh, in addition to his positions at Harvard, Clooney also is also a Catholic priest. I know the history of Catholicism in America, I'm sure, and I'm sure that Clooney does as well. Uh, there was a time when Catholics were persecuted, reviled, and marked as definitive and as a as a definitive un-American religion. Within the developing field of religious studies, the privileged privileged privilege position, sorry, of the liberal 19th century Protestant Protestantism as real religion in its most evolved form has also led to unfair uh, anti-Catholic prejudice within the academy. Catholicism has struggled in the United States for recognition both as an authentically Christian and authentically American. Well, it's not Christian at all. Roman Catholicism has nothing to do 
do with biblical Christianity. Roman Catholicism is, like I said, uh, the essentially the old Greek Roman pagan religion mixed in with some truths from Christianity. That's all that it is. It's a hybrid mix of uh, Greco-Roman heathenism with biblical Christianity. Roman Catholicism never has been and never will be never will be biblical Christianity. Roman Catholicism is condemned in Revelation 17, 18 as Mystery Babylon. But the you know, article just goes on and on and on about how the Muslims and the Satanists have to lie because they're minorities or whatever. But like I said, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Islam, Satanism, Catholicism, Judaism, they're all that same Antichrist spirit in 1 John chapter 2, verse 22 and 23. They all are all, all their father the devil. I'll put it that way. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.